right method and peaceful environment can help us into meditation. By Ven Renz. Rest your hands comfortably covering your knees. This is called the mind and comfort and ease posture. The mudra of Sakyamuni Buddha is one hand placed palm up at the navel and the other hand hanging down as if guiding. The mudra of Amitabha Buddha is both hands placed together in the Samadhi mudra. Each Buddha's mudra is different, representing their different aspirations and vows. This posture can inspire our confidence, openness and compassion because somehow we know that we all have the Buddha nature. So when you assume this posture, you are playfully imitating a Buddha. This is because when you imitate the Buddha's posture, subconsciously you naturally think of the Buddha and the blessings of all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas merge into your mind. When meditating, don't bend or lean. By sitting properly like the Buddha, your negative thoughts and wandering thoughts will naturally decrease or disappear. At the same time, you still recognize your relative condition. Because you have let yourself be inspired by a joyful trust in your inherent Buddha nature, you can accept your negative aspects more easily and deal with them more kindly and with more humor. Likewise, when dealing with our flaws, we should be kind and humorous. In this way, we will also be kind and humorous towards others' flaws. If we are too harsh on ourselves, we will also be harsh and narrow-minded towards others. We shouldn't indulge in our flaws and negative thoughts, but we should treat them with kindness and humour. It's like treating a cute puppy seeing it can instantly brighten our mood and trigger our compassion. Similarly, when dealing with our flaws in this way, we will become forgiving, kind and humorous immediately. When you meditate, then, invite yourself to feel the dignity and strong humility of the Buddha that you are. This so-called dignity is to imitate the Buddha, and the humility is the Buddha's equal great love. We will feel it. Of course, a method is only a method, not the meditation itself. If you continue to practice a method, then meditation slowly arises. Meditation is not something that you can do or contrive, but is integrated naturally. It is something that has to happen spontaneously, only when the practice has been perfected. Therefore, when you meditate, don't be attached to when you will enter meditation. It will happen naturally. It's like a seed planted in the soil. Slowly it will grow and sprout. As it is said, meditation is not striving, but naturally becoming assimilated into it. Just use the right method. When a meditative experience arises, don't be too excited or attached to it, because as long as you use the right method, Feelings and signs will naturally arise. When feelings and signs arise, ordinary beings often forget the method and become attached to these states. The curiosity, fear or attachment to these experiences are all wrong. We shouldn't forget the method of meditation, 
but should always use the right method. In this way, meditation will naturally arise. However, for meditation to happen, calm and auspicious conditions have to be created. Nowadays, beginners may not have the opportunity to live in the mountains, and the mountains are not quiet either. The most calm and auspicious environment is actually in our urban meditation centres. A pure monastic community is essential. We often say that we need to rely on the community. If you meditate at home, you won't be able to concentrate when you see your beloved family members. When you see your grandchildren, husband and children, how can you meditate? You cannot calm down. Once we have found a stability in our meditation, noises and disturbances of every kind will have far less impact. Through long-term practice, disturbances will have less impact. The masters say, if you create an auspicious condition in your body and your environment, then meditation and realisation will automatically arise. 